we are moving on to the glute bridge on the bench. What I recommend, not all of us at home, which if you're at home, you better be doing these exercises. Not all of us have a bench. What I do at home um, is grab one of my chairs, obviously one of the lower ones, not the high top. I grab it and put it up against the wall, and then I use that as my bench. Um, so there's a lot of, you can use your couch, anything with an angle that's gonna support um, where you want to be on the bench or your couch or anything, your rhomboids, where your chicken wings or your angel wings, that's exactly where the angle is that you want to be on the bench. We're going to put our feet out. Um, it, they're going to be squat length apart. Once again, your shoulders and your knees should be lined up. As you go up, you should be filling up the room just like the floor. Okay. See how she is level once again. Her knees are level with her hips and her shoulders. Um, there should be no pain on your shoulder. Or I'm sorry, on your back at all. It's the same hold. Down. So we're down for one, two, and then we're back up. One, two, and three hold. Perfect. We're gonna go up. So. Once again, your hips should not be forward. You should not have an arch in your back. You should not have any pain in your back at all. They should be nice and level. You should be squeezing through your glute. If your glute is not hard as a rock, you are not squeezing it inward. Um, go down. So that is a glute bridge on the bench. I'm gonna show advanced movement now, uh, which is a, hold on, hold on. You're getting in front of me. Um, we're going to do a glute bridge and abduction, okay? So we're going to go up, we're going to hold for one, two, three, we're going to squeeze our knees out. Okay, once again, you're working against your own resistance with the band, okay? We're going to squeeze out again, one, two, three, and down. I'm going to show that once more. This is your glute bridge on the bench with an abduction. We're going to go up, squeeze through your glute. One, two, and three. Out, in, out, and in. Okay. Always making sure your glute is perfectly aligned before you do your abduction. Otherwise, you're not squeezing your pelvic floor correctly and you could be doing damage. Uh, that is an advanced movement, so if you're able to properly do the glute bridge on the bench or the floor, um, you can move to that movement. We're going to move on to our next movement. <laughs>